friends this is priyanka today we are going to study how to draw hydraulic gradient line as well as total energy line for this given arrangement now if we observe here is the pipe which is attached to the tank at its entrance as well as at the exit now if we observe the length and diameter of this pipe is given and a distance of surface of water level from the center of the pipe is also given so for the tank when it is given h1 is equal to 50 meter and here for the tank 2 it is given h2 is equal to 9.463 meter and velocity of the water flowing through this pipe is also given that is v is equal to 244 meter per second so we have to show velocity so it is in the from the direction of the flow so if we observe here we have to show so direction of the flow of water inside the tank is towards the right hand side because here h1 is more than this head h2 so we have to show that now how to plot this total energy line so for that we have to calculate what is the head lost when this water is flowing from this tank 1 to this tank 2 through this pipe so when the water is entering from this tank to this pipe there is the head lost at the entrance of the pipe so at point b we can say that there is the head loss so what is the head lost at this point p that is we can say hi is equal to 0.5 v square by 2g so which is equal to 0.459 meter now when the water is flowing through this pipe again there is the head loss due to friction because this water is in contact with the pipe surface and again from this point b to point c the head is getting lost because the friction is taking place so again we have to calculate the hf so hf is equal to we know formula for f lv square by 2 gd so f is given that is coefficient of friction 0.008 So when we put all the value, we will get the answer thirty nine point sixteen meter. Then at the outlet of the pipe, that is this at point C, again water is entering from this pipe to this tank. So again there is the losses at the exit of the pipe. So H E is equal to. So we have formula H E is equal to V square by two G, which is equal to zero point nine one eight meter. so all the losses are calculated now we will plot the total energy line so what is the total energy at this point a so we will consider the point a at the free surface of the water in the tank a so total energy at this point a is equal to pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head so here we will consider the line passing through the center of pipe will be reference line so what is the pressure head at this point a point a is open to atmosphere pressure head zero what is the velocity of water in the tank so it is negligible so kinetic head v uh, that is also zero so what is the datum head so from this reference line if we observe the distance is 50 meter so datum head is 50 meter so we can say that here the total energy at point a is equal to 50 meter from this reference line so we have to plot so here i will take the point that is i will take here the point d now this water is entering into this pipe so at this point b there is the head lost due to uh, entrance losses in the entrance of the pipe so what is the value of hi so hi is equal to 0.559 meter so initially the head is at point d so when the water is entering head is lost by this 0.459 meter so we have to take here this here is the point at a distance below 0.459 meter so i will select here the next point that is the point e and we have to show so what is the vertical distance so vertical distance that is equal to hi is equal to 0.459 meter then the next next when the water is flowing from this point b to c head loss due to friction so we have to show that so for that from this point e i will draw here one horizontal line and for this line we have to show the length equal to this length l 
so if i mention here we have to show this length n now again i have to show the head lost so at this point c initially at this point b initially the head at point e but what is happening from point b to c the head is getting lost equal to 39.16 meter so we have to draw here one vertical line and so i will show that is we have to take the exact distance for this point c so again i will take here one vertical line and what what is this vertical distance that is equal to hf is equal to 39.16 meter and here i will take point f and this is the point i now again when water is entering from this point c to the tank there are head loss due to exit of the pipe so we have calculated here he is equal to 0.918 meter so from this point i we have to go below in vertically downward direction and we have to select the point z and this point z meets at the surface of water level in this tank too and what is the distance i to z that is equal to he is equal to 0.918 meter now we have to draw the total energy line so how to draw so if we observe here what is the total energy at point a that is here up to point d then what is the total energy at this point b that is at the entrance of the pipe here is the point e so we have to join these two points now what is the total energy at point c here up to this point i so again we have to join this point e and i then what is the total energy when this water water is entering into this uh, tank so here is the point z so again i have to join this point i to z so if we observe d e i z is the total energy line so we have to mention that now again we have to draw the hydraulic gradient line so for that hydraulic gradient line it is the summation of pressure head and datum head so if we observe we have to subtract the kinetic head so if i take here the energy at point b so what is the energy at this point b that is the pressure head kinetic head plus datum head so if i subtract the kinetic head that is v square by 2g which is equal to 0.918 so that is the same value for the energy at the head lost at exit of the pipe that is 0.918 so i will select here the point k that is it is below this point e and its value is 0.918 so now again if i observe here is the point z that is also equal to that is this distance i to z that is also equal to 0.918 meter so here we have to join this surface of water level that is this point z to point e now i will join this with the help of dash line and this is h g l that is the hydraulic gradient line that we have to show